and today we are looking at the agency past papers uh, 2018 paper 41 and uh, question number eight here we'll be looking at uh, angle properties polygons uh, sequences sequence polygons and all of these uh, vectors and so on and so forth quickly now let's take a look at this first very first question we say the exterior angle of a regular polygon is x exterior angle is x degree and the interior angle is 8x degree calculate the number of sides the polygon has okay so we let's uh, take a look at how we can uh, optimize this quickly okay we say the exterior angle of a polygon the exterior angle you know exterior exterior okay we can use e okay e x t okay e x t for exterior exterior angle is x degree has been defined let's define these parameters first the exterior angle is x degree and the interior angle the interior angle is 8x exterior angle is x degree and the interior angle of this polygon is 8x find the number of sides the polygon has okay so we want to find the number of sides so the first thing you know is to write the equations of uh, uh, equation as much as you remember. I think we have about three, four equations for uh, polygon. The first one is that the exterior angle, exterior angle plus interior angle equals to 180 degree. Okay, exterior angle, angle exterior. So I can put angle on top here, sign of an angle plus the interior angle plus the interior angle equals to 180 degree it's a formula the interior angle plus because at both exterior and interior we form a, a straight line so the exterior angle plus the interior angle equal to 180 degree that's the equation one we can call it equation one for solving poly polygon we don't need sum of polygon if not we would have said use the equation of n minus 2 bracket n minus 2 bracket 180 we would have used the sum formula so I don't think we need some from this question. So we call this equation one. Okay, we call this equation one. And then the other equation we need is, remember the exterior formula. The sum of exterior angle of a polygon, the sum of exterior angle of a polygon is given as exterior equals to 360 over N. Exterior equals to 360 degree over N. So we remember these two formula. And then I think these two formula is uh, they are sufficient for us to solve the question over n. So we call this equation two. So the first thing we do is to find is to find the exterior. Okay. So we say the exterior angle is x degree, and the interior angle is eight x degree. So since we know this, let's substitute it to this uh, place and find x because x represents the exterior angle. So let's substitute this x and 8x into equation 1. Substitute x and 8x into equation 1 because exterior is x degree. So you put x in place of exterior for equation 1. And then you write 8x for the interior. 8x for the interior that is given. Equal, you equate it to 180. You equate it to 180 degree. Okay, that's equation 1. We just substituted what is given to us into equation 1. The next thing to do is to add them up. X plus 8x, we get 9x. We get 9x. So 9x equal to 180 degree. Equal to 180 degree. 9x equal to 180 degree. Right? So we divide both sides by 9 so that we can get x. So we say we divide both sides by 9 so that we can get x. We divide both sides by 9. I want to change the color. Okay, just a, a moment. We divide both sides by 9 to get x. So we say 9x over 9 is equal to 180 over 9. 9x over 9 is equal to 180 over 9. So 180, 9 divided by 9, 9x divided by 9, we get what? We get x. Only x will remain on the left side. So if you divide this by this, x will remain. And then y x will be equal to 180 divided by 9. Just say 80 divided by 9, you get 2. Okay, and then you put the 0. That's 20. So x equals to 20, 20. 
20 degree. And remember, x is the exterior angle. Remember, x is the exterior angle because they say the exterior angle equal to x degree. So you found you found the exterior angle to be 20. The interior angle will definitely be what? If in case they ask you for the interior angle, it will be 180 minus 20. That's 160. Or you say 8 times 20, which is same as 160. So the interior angle will definitely be 160 degree. Although we're not looking for the interior angle. What they ask us to find is the number of sides of the polygon has. So you come, you use equation 2. You use equation 2. If you look at equation 2, we said exterior angle, exterior angle is equal to is equal to the uh, 360 is equal to 360 divided by by n is equal to 360 divided by n so remember the exterior angle is already equal to 20 so it's like you're saying 20 it's like you're saying 20 is equal to 360 divided by n 20 is equal to 360 divided by n 360 that's the, the value of the exterior angle which is 20 is equal to 360 degree divided by divide by n now we cross multiply since we are looking for n you have to cross multiply this becomes over one so when we cross multiply we will definitely get this on the other side we say this times this and one times 360 we cross multiply so we say 20 times n is 20 n we get 20 n on the left side and then 360 times one equal to 360 so here we have 360 Okay, on the right side. So divide both sides by 20. Now we're going to divide both sides by 20. So in dividing both sides by 20, to make it shorter, I will just say n, n is equal to 360 over 20. 360 divided by 20. Okay. So 360 divided by 20, you just say 36 divided by 2. 0 will cancel 0, obviously. This 0 will cancel 0. 36 divided by 2, you get 18. So n equal to 18. So the, the polygon has 18 sides. The polygon has 18 sides. So n equal to 18. So it means the polygon has 18 sides. It means the polygon has 18 sides. So that's that answer our question. This question three marks. So in Cambridge, if you're able to do this, you get three marks. Okay, you definitely be fast in the exam hall because there you don't have much time. So you have to be fast. You have to be fast. Okay. Now let's take a look at uh, the second question, the big question. The big questions uh, is giving us a, uh, a circle geometry, right? It's giving us the angle property kind of question. It says uh, A, B, C, and D. Look at A. There's A here. B, C, and D are points. Okay, A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference. You know, this is a circumference. Remember, we studied circumference in our previous class. They are points on the circumference of, a, of the circle cent of, with center O. So, the O is the center of the circle. And D, O, B, D, O, is it D, O? D, O, B is a straight line. D, O, B is a straight line. Look at it. It means it's a diameter because this straight line is passing through the center of the circle. DOB line DOB is a straight line which is passing through the center of the circle from one point of the circumference to the other point of the circumference, passing through the center of the circle. So such lines are called the diameter of the circle. So we say DOB is a straight line and angle DAC is 58 degree. DAC. Always the one at the center. When they say DAC, it means angle at A. DAC. So the angle at center is 58 degree. Find angle C D B C D B. Now find angle C D B. This angle. They want us to find this angle. They want us to find this angle. Is that okay? Now the first thing to note, the first thing to note, they want us to find here. Okay, I think we need to sketch this in our whiteboard. Okay, the first thing to note. Before I go to the whiteboard, the first thing to note is that this, ang this angle and this angle B, they are equal. Why? They both stand on the same segment. Or you can say they both stand on the same arc. You can say they both stand on the same arc. Okay, this minor arc. They both stand on this same minor arc. And they, or you can say they both stand on this chord, DB, uh, DC. 
this called C, C, D, or D, C. They both stand on it. Or you can say they are standing on this segment, this one, this minor segment. They both stand on this minor segment. So any angle on the circumference stand on the same arc are equal. Any angle on the circumference, this is an angle on the circumference, this is also an angle on the circumference, and they both stand on this arc. They both stand on this arc, or they, you can say both stand on this segment, so they are equal. So here is 58. Here is likewise 58. The another thing to note is that any angle of the circumference standing of the diameter is 90 degrees. So this place, this place up to here like this is 90 degrees. The whole of this place up to here, up to the line going to B, up to the line going to B, this whole angle is 90 degrees. Why? Because any angle on the circumference that is standing of the diameter, according to angle properties, that is standing of the diameter is 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees. So this one is 58. So you can find this because it's a triangle. Look at it. It's a triangle. D C B is a triangle. D C B is a triangle. Here is 58. Here is 90. You add 90 and 58, you get 148. 180 minus 148. 180 minus 148. Probably you get one uh, you get 32. So this angle they ask us to find is 32 degree. The angle they ask us to find is 32 degree. But I think we let's show it let's show it so it's uh, much easier for us question two or question b okay so we let's have this uh, diagram let's have this diagram circle we draw a circle okay so and then we have let's draw the line uh, What we draw is it correct? D A B. Oh, okay. This. Oh, we did draw the diameter. We did draw the diameter. See, if we go back, right? We draw this. We draw the diameter first before we do this. Okay. D B C. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this could be our diameter. This one. D C. We join a line from D and C. Okay, this this place is C. Uh, this is C, and this is B. Okay. And then there's a line here. Okay, let's see the last one. Okay, this one join it. Okay, this one was a bit uh, too too bogus. This one was okay, but we can just manage to join it from here. Yeah, not perfect, but at least I think something like this. We call this one. 58 not perfect yes 58 let's change the color 58 yes 58 degree here is center O ok here is what what was here this place a point A. Okay. Okay, now they're asking us to find this angle. This angle. So I call it X. The question wants us to find this angle. Let's call it X. Okay, here is 58. Like I said, any angle that stands on the same segment or same arc 
is is they are equal any angle of the circumference standing on the same arc are equal so here we likewise be 58 here we likewise be 58 then we say any angle standing on the diameter you know dob is a diameter so the whole of this is 90 degree the whole of this is 90 is 90 degree Okay, so let's find x. So all you need to do is to say x plus 90, x plus 90 degree, plus 58, plus 90, plus 58, equals to 180. Sum of angle plus 58 equals to 180 because sum of angles in a triangle is equals to 180. Sum of angles in a triangle equals to 180. Equals to 180. So if we add this, yeah, we need only this 58 for this uh, triangle because they ask us to find x. We don't. Need, we only use this to find that this place is 58, and then in solving for x, this place, in solving for x, then you only need this 58. You don't need the second 58. So you say x 58 plus 90 is 148. So you say x plus 148 plus 148 is equals to 180 is equals to 180 is equals to 180 so x will be 180 minus 148 x equals to 180 minus 148 So x is equal to 180 minus 148. Is it 32? So it will be 32 degrees. So that the value of x, the angle they ask us to find, is 32 degrees. Okay? So it's 32 degrees. So that's the beauty. So here is 32 degrees. This place is 32 degrees. This angle is 32. Is that okay? So that's that for that, the first angle. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Now on this next one, uh, I think uh, we have okay. See, again we have a circle. This is the center. And uh, from uh, part of this circumference to the center of the circle is a radius. Okay, from, you know, from the center of the circle to any part of the circumference is a radius. And then here is not a radius, it's a chord. Now, this chord is parallel to this radius, they're parallel. This angle is 48. Okay, is a PQ, PQ, let's PQ, R, are points on the circumference of the circle, center O. PO is parallel to Q -O, uh, QR. PO. This one, which I have already said, PO is parallel to QR. And angle and angle POQ is equals to 48. POQ is always the one at the center. When they say POQ, they're talking about angle O. But you, you have to go through the three three points. POQ, meaning the angle at O. The one and O that links P O Q together. So it's 48 degree. Find angle O P R. Find angle O P R. O P R. Find this angle here. This angle. Find this angle. Okay? Remember this angle is at the circumference. And it's the same as this angle. Because this angle is also at the circumference. Remember angle at the center, the first uh, angle property says. Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So let's draw this and solve this quickly. Okay? Let's draw this. What I mean is that this is angle at the center. 48 is angle at the center. 48 is what? Angle at the center. Now, this is angle at the circumference. Although they say we should find this one, you have to find this one first. Okay? You have to find this. And this is same as this. Once you find this, it's same as this. Okay, angle at the circle, the same. Okay, 
So, to find Agua de circumference, the first rule says that Agua is the circumference. Agua de Centro is twice the Agua de circumference. That's the rule. Agua de Centro is twice the Agua de circumference. So, we go back to look at this. Agua de Centro is twice the Agua. So, let's draw this question 9 or question 8, whatever, 8C, whatever it is. No problem. So, let's uh, draw the circle first. Okay, so we then we have the center of the circle. We have a line I think this is what we have, right? Oh, except that this one now drew it. The line went to the end. It's okay, but even if we don't need this part. Okay, now here is 48, right? This place is 48. 48. Agua de center. Center O. It's 48 degree. It's 48. Agua de center. Right? Then they're asking us to find this one. Agua de circumference. This is P. Q. R. And this is O. This place is O. Center O. Okay. So, Agua de center, you write angle center. Oh, sorry, this first one is P. This P. Okay. This P. QR. Okay, now remember the rules. It's an angle at the center. So I'll say center. I'll just write center. Center. I'll put angle, sign of angle on top. Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Twice. So I'll say two times circumference. Two times angle circumference. Circumference, we just write in abbreviation. Circumference. So we put the sign of angle on top. So and the angle at the center is 48 degree. So I write 48 degree here is equal to what? Two times. We don't know the angle at the circumference. That's what the answers to find. So I can call it y. Two times y. So I call it two times y. Okay. So two times y is two y. Therefore y, which is angle at the circumference, is equal to 48 divided by two. 48. 48 divided by two. 48 divided by 2, which is equal to 24. Equals to 24. So this angle is 24. The angle here is an angle on the circumference. It's 24. It's 24. And the angle here, they are same. They are equal. It's also 24. So what they ask us to find angle uh, OPQ or PO, uh, OPQ is 24. So that's what they ask us to find, 24 degree. It's an angle on the circumference. Okay? So it's 24 degree. So that's for this question. Now let's move on to another question. Now the radius of the circle is 5.4 R. Calculate the length of the major arc, PQ. See, now they want us to calculate the length of the major arc, PQ. The radius of the circle is 5.4. So you remember uh, yesterday we did arc length, okay? 
length of major arc means arc length. So in our, one of our previous class, classes. So we going to do the length of the major arc. But before we can do that, let's begin to look at what we have. Okay, so we come back to this place. Where is our major arc? Where is our major arc? Our major arc is all the way from here. Okay, our major arc is this length, right? This one, the length of our major arc. So the angle will be, we have to find the angle of the major arc. The major angle, it's called the major angle. If the minor angle is 48, what will be the major angle? Since the total angle is 360. So, theta, you can write theta major, the major angle. The minor angle is 48, for the minor arc is 48. So, the major angle will be, so since the angle of a, a circle is 360, uh, major will be 360 minus the minor, minus the minor, 360 minus 48. 360 minus 48 degree and this will give us 312 right 312 312 okay that's our major angle that's what we're going to use to calculate the major arc okay that's the angle we're going to need to calculate the major arc so because they want us they say if the radius radius is radius is 5.4 if the radius is 5.4 if the radius is 5.4 cm, calculate the length of the major arc. So, the radius is 5.4 cm. You must get your major angle. Don't use 48 to calculate. If you use 48 to calculate, you're going to get it wrong because they did say we should calculate the minor arc. If they say we should calculate the minor arc, then we should have used the 48. We should have used the 48. Now, we key into this formula. You know the arc length. So, our arc length from what we studied in our previous class arc length is equal to arc length arc length is equal to theta theta over 360 times 2 pi r over 360 anything length is part of a circumference so times times 2 pi r. So this is the formula for calculating the arc length. The only thing you need to reason here was just to calculate, be able to know to calculate the major angle since they asked you to find the major arc. If they ask you just find the arc length, uh, they will tell you and you use the minor one if they give you the boundary of the minor one. So since they say the major one, we have to get the major angle. So that's the only thing you need to just uh, critically think about in the exam hall and be able to do the question uh, professionally. So this will be three, 312 divided by 360, 312, which is the angle, divided by 360, divided by 360, times 2, times pi, which is uh, 3.14, times 3.14 or 3.142 times the radius which is 5.4 times the radius which is 5.4 times the radius which is 5.4 so when you do this yes we will get what key, any key in this value when you do this what do you get 312 Divide by 360 times 2 times uh, times you get 29.4 29.4 centimeter approximately 29.4 centimeter huh? 29.4 centimeter okay because you are looking for arc length so this is uh, this is what they will ask you and you should be able to respond be able to respond so you see how the question connects you from angle property also you are asked to calculate the arc, arc length the major arc okay the length of the major arc so you have to keep practicing we have to keep doing questions and we have to be able to solve these questions 
And remember, the secret to exam is you should not be scared. You shouldn't be scared of the question. You shouldn't be scared of the question. Once you're scared, you will not be able to do, right? You will not be able to do. Now, the next one is vector. The next one will be vector. And I think we take vector as another class. Okay, thank you.